Vice President Investments and Branch Manager of the Clayton Office of Steve Malikos. Good morning, Dwayne. Good morning, McGraw. All right, what was the story yesterday? You're right. The Dow average slightly declined, drifting down three points, closing at 26,210. However, the bigger story of the day was the NASDAQ having a very strong day, jumping 54 points, which was led by Amazon and Netflix. Amazon climbed 35 points to get this number, $1,362 per share. Wow. Netflix was up $22 to $250 per share. And what we're really seeing is that new technology dominating in the consumer area. Remember, we're a consuming com uh, country at this point. Yeah. And that consuming technology seems to be the strong area and continues to be. Mm, interesting. All right. Uh, now, uh, let's get to some other news. Speaking of new bold technology companies, GE used to be that company, and they've gone through a whole bunch of things. What's going on now? Boy, they, they, they were such an iconic, doesn't miss anything company that just kept growing and growing and growing. And they continue to struggle um, as they try to find, refine themselves. And to put things in perspective, here they are around 17 bucks a share. I remember back in 2000, before the tech bubble smashed us, GE stock above $60 a share. And there's no splits between then and here. Right. It's just, you know, struggled that much. Um, and they got a new CEO last summer. John Flannery took over last summer. Um, and he just, he's just been quietly moving forward, but he's also clearly showing their challenges uh, moving forward. So they did report uh, earnings and revenue yesterday. Revenue was $31.4 billion, down from expected $34 billion based by the analysts. And, and that's a big, that's a huge um, miss mm. for them. Yeah. But I think this guy is really addressing things, uh, exposing some of their challenges. I think it was a couple of days ago they announced their pension shortfall at $31 billion, the largest pension shortfall of any U.S. company. So it's not good news, but they're addressing, and I think some of this stuff has uh, not been addressed the way it needs to be, and I think they're facing the yeah. issue right now. So we'll see how they move forward. Yeah, I mean, Jack Welsh, right, the head of GE, he was the media darling. Everybody loved him. GE started by Thomas Edison, was one of the original Dow components. So, I mean, that is an, a, that is about as an iconic of, 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 of a company as you can find out there. You know, and over the years, I've known a lot of managers at GE at the mid-level, and every single one of them, really sharp people, really doing things the right way, um, it's a company that's got a lot of good employees. Yeah. They they need to find themselves. Hmm. Uh, you mentioned Amazon. Uh, they're buying a cyber company. What's the story? Well, there's a small company out of Boston. Uh, goes by the acronym SQRRL. And they were founded and they're run now by former NSA, National Security Agency, employees. And um, I guess the issue there is cybersecurity is just, quite frankly, I think, the single biggest threat to business today. Um, and I saw a stat a couple of days ago that uh, someone, a company, put out that they, in 2017, consumers lost $19 billion to cyber criminals. Mm. Oh. And, and when you look forward today, I don't see anything that could disrupt a company as much as the issue of cybersecurity not no. being handled yeah. properly. Yeah, you're right. So, so I think you know they're they're addressing it. They must see something special that this company has, and as much as they grow and as much revenues go in and out of Amazon and the cloud, you know they, they they've got to address it full speed. Yeah, all right, good. All right, Dwayne Thomas. So, uh, what about the markets today? Uh, we're all going to be off to a good start. Right now, we're between 75 and 80 points up on the Dow, and there's a lot of earnings coming out. General Dynamics, Mattel, Ford, Norfolk Southern, Comcast. I think there's a total of 84 companies reporting earnings today. So I think that's going to drive a lot of stocks. Beautiful. Good work. All right, Scott Crothers and Stephen Nichols. Have yourself a good day. We'll talk to you tomorrow.